This next young lady made history as the first African-American model to become one of Barker's beauties. On the hit game show, The Price is Right, you may also remember her as Mrs. Parker in the movie Friday. Kathleen Bradley, come on down! <laughs> Done. I told her before you came that you silly, so she oh, might as well prepare I'm, herself. I'm often seen but not heard. Right? And you're not just the first, you're the only African-American sister to be on those game shows, right? Well, on The Price is Right. I've been yeah. on there 10 years now. And since plaintiff did not show proof of negligence by the defendant, I have no choice but to rule in favor of the defendant. And one other thing, young lady, you better show some respect when you come into Judge Jenny's courtroom or contempt of court will be like a blessing in disguise for you. Next case. Mm -hmm. Dupree versus Dupree. I see you two guys have the same last name. Are you an item? What? Pardon? <laughs> the answer can be incriminating, so let's just skip it and get started, okay? Um, Mr. Dupree, what is your problem with Mr. Dupree? <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> well, while waiting for my car in the parking lot of a local restaurant, this gentleman, who happens to be a parking lot attendant, instead of bringing me my car, which is what he's paid to do, he decided that he would steal my shirt and pants off me, which I had just bought. You mean you were butt naked in front of the restaurant? No, no, Your Honor, no. I had, I had clothes on. I, <laughs> the clothes he stole were in my car. Oh, so you didn't show the full Monty. <laughs> so what is it that you want from my courtroom? Your Honor, all I'm asking is that I be reimbursed $450 for the cost of my clothes. And do you have proof of purchase for these items? Do you have a receipt? Yes, I do, Your Honor. I have it right here. Bailiff. Hmm. All right, young man, so what do you have to say for yourself? Were you just trying to repo these clothes or were you planning on having a fashion show? <laughs> uh, neither, Your Honor. I apologize. This man is completely lying. Zip it. Your Honor. I said zip it. Now, it seems like both of you have a lot in common, so just let him finish. <laughs> now, if that finger is your full Monty, young man, never mind. Tell me now, where are the clothes? Do you still have them? No, Your Honor. Well, where are they? They're in the dry cleaner, Your Honor. Now, you're telling me that you put new clothes in the dry cleaner to be clean. <laughs> what do I look like? Are you dumber than dumb? <laughs> look, what I'm trying to figure out, which one of you is telling the truth, and I can't quite seem to come up with an answer. So, here's what I'm going to do. You, young man, you're going to pay this gentleman $300. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. It's, it's $450. Excuse me, I saw the receipt. The clothes have been used now, and that's what we call depreciation. <laughs> now, as I was saying, first, you will pay this gentleman $300 for the clothes, and you will get the clothes out of the dry cleaners and give them to charity, such as the homeless. And also, you're going to do some community services. Now, the court clerk over here will write all the instructions down for you so there's no confusion. And you know exactly what you're doing. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Honor. Next case, please. <laughs> Sheldon, I'm sorry I never intended to embarrass you. What was his name? 
I don't know, Bill, I think. I, I'm not sure. You don't even know his name? The name, the face, it's not important. You wouldn't understand. I sure as hell don't. Have there uh, been others? Have there been others? Yes. How many? I don't know. Ten? I told you I don't know. Oh. Of course you do. You're a grown woman. You know how to count. How many? Twenty. 30, 40. Oh, yes, 50, 60, 100. As many as you like. Well, I'll be goddamn. <laughs> Where are you going? What do you care? This is your house. Vicki is your daughter. Oh, is she? Oh, God. How you must hate me. Yes, Sheldon. Oh, yes. Vicki is your child. I may be a whore to you, but I am not that vicious. know what she doing with them low ass shorts on. She know we be looking. Tommy Smalls for what? Well, they can't be a bigger time as they say, man. I mean, you mean what? They loosen them up a little bit. Maybe I'll tell you something about Canton. Mm, I don't know, sure. You think Smalls is that stupid? I know he's that stupid. <laughs> Sergeant Phil Canton. Are you with this gentleman? No, I'm not. It's nice to meet you. You're alive? Not yet. Ow! <clears throat> We're still talking, that's all. Remember, Natasha, always say no on the first day. Don't tell her that. Is he good-looking, Natasha? If he is, you'd better say yes the first time, the second time, and any time he asks for it. Yes, Ty. I think you say yes to a man with two broken legs and a back brace. I did. <laughs> okay. Now, when you mess up and Sheldon catches you, don't say we didn't warn you. Believe me when I tell you Sheldon has no cause to complain, honey. I take care of plenty of business at home. Can you say the same? What I do at home is of no concern of yours. I just think you should try and change your lifestyle. I worry about you, Vashti. Yes, Mother Hen, I know you worry about me. You worry about all of us. But we're grown and we can take care of ourselves. Thank you. Oh, Tahiro, give me a buzz. Zero to hero. Everybody go play through. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Zero to Hero. And now from the CBS television show, The Price is Right, the host of Zero to Hero, the beautiful Kathleen Bradley. <laughs> Thank you 
Sonia. And thank you, Alvin and the band. Wasn't that great, ladies and gentlemen? In Hollywood.